Hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm going to show you how I make my green bean casserole. Okay, what you're going to need is about one cup of chopped onion, small onion, four to five slices of bacon cut in to about one inch pieces, two cans of cut green beans. You can use fresh, but I prefer the canned for this recipe. And you're also going to need two cans of cream of mushroom soup. What you're going to do, take your bacon, put it into your skillet, along with the onion. And you're going to cook that, oh, about 10-15 minutes or so until the onions get a nice caramelized color. which I will get started and I will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, I want to show you what I have going here with my onions and bacon. It's almost there. Onions are getting a nice golden color. I'll give this a couple more minutes. Make sure the bacon's done. Okay, I'm going to get my camera situated and I'll be right back. Okay, my bacon and onions are done. Now, what you want to do is drain your green beans. Good. Which I've already done. You put them in a bowl. Then I'm going to add the bacon and onions, grease and everything. There's not too much grease in there. If you have a lot of grease, you might want to take some out. But mix it all up. Yummy. Then I'm going to start out with one can of cream of mushroom soup. One might do the trick. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need another can. I like it thick and creamy. Actually, a half a can might do. It's about one and a half cans, which will do it. I do not add milk. I do not like my green bean casserole runny. I think it's ucky. All right, got all mixed up. Put it into your baking dish. You can also do this the night before, which I usually do. When I'm ready, I put it in the oven. Okay. Spread that around. Actually, I could have probably used a smaller dish. That's all right. Okay, you want to put this in an oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. And I will do that now, and I will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, I just took my green beans out of the oven, and I did fail to mention you will need a can of french fried onions, or a bag in this case. This is three ounces. Just pour the whole thing on top and bake it for three to five minutes.
until it comes out nice and golden brown and crispy. Okay, I'll give you a look here. That look delish. Okay, I hope you give this a try, and thanks for watching.